One of the most important parts of your image and video workflow is actually getting those images and videos to your Cloudinary Media Library. So we'll see how we can use the Node SDK to easily upload one or multiple images with the Node SDK uploader. Once the Cloudinary Node module is installed, imported, and configured, we want to be able to upload this local image as well as any other image in our directory. We can start off by running Cloudinary dot uploader dot upload, where inside we can pass in an argument of that image path. Now be sure to take note of how I'm referencing that path to be sure that you're referencing the actual file in your file system. But with that line, I can chain on a then statement where I get my result so I can actually console log out that result to see how it works. And once I run that script, I can see that I successfully logged out the result of that upload. I can now even open up that URL and see my new beautiful picture of a galaxy on my Cloudinary account. If you alternatively want to use the async await syntax, what we can do is set up a self-invoking function. I'm going to define async function run, which I need to say that I want to invoke that function immediately, where I can first get rid of that result statement. I'm going to copy that uploader into my run function. I'm going to add an await as well as a constant of result so I can get that same result. And finally, let's log out that result. We're again running the same upload. I get a similar result, but this time it's a separate upload. And just as a quick note, depending on the node version you're using, you may be able to use the top level await syntax. But what if we instead wanted to upload multiple images? We can run a function such as for const image of images, where inside I'm going to run that same result code, where what's going to happen is it's going to loop through all of the images inside of my array. And then for each of those images, it's going to do the same exact thing and use the uploader to upload my image. So we can more easily see the output of all of our different results. How about instead I only log out the secure URL. And as that script runs, we can see that we get an upload result for every single one of those images. Now, finally, we're uploading using the local file paths, but the uploader takes in other formats rather than just the local path. For instance, we can pass in a base64 data URI, or I can even copy the image URL and pass that URL directly into the uploader which easily gives me a way to upload images that exist on other servers to my Cloudinary account. To learn more about uploading assets with Cloudinary with the Node SDK, head over to the documentation where you can find more examples, as well as the Upload API documentation where you can find all the different options and parameters available for the SDK. So in review, in order to upload images to our Cloudinary account using the Node SDK, we can pass in all of our images as the path or even the URL into the uploader which gives us an easy way to get our files into our Cloudinary account from Node.